Carrie Cronin is probably the most well-known person on campus. Professor Carrie Cronin's kind of famous around campus for her relationship talk. She talks about going back to square one. Her claim to fame is that in her class she makes kids ask others out on a date, so everyone knows her as kind of the dating professor on campus. About eight or nine years ago, I started talking to students about dating and relationships. I realized that students weren't dating and I sort of was finding out things about hookup culture. The phrase hookup is, it, it's great it, because it's totally vague. It could mean I kind of made out with somebody. It could mean I had sex with the person. And that's really helpful because everybody can kind of get the social status from it easily without having to say what they did. And I thought, well, this is crazy <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> and so I started asking students to go on what I refer to as traditional dates. By the end of the semester, they really hadn't been able to accomplish that, even though they all said they wanted to, but they just had no idea what a date was, how you would ask, what to talk about on a date. They were so stressed, not only about who this would be and the possibility of getting rejected, but the whole model of it was gone. And so that was when I realized that dating is a social script that's no longer being supported by our culture. I feel like everyone secretly wants to date, but no one is willing to say it. Asking someone on a date is so much of a bigger deal than hooking up, because with a hookup, it's casual. You might not see the person again. Um, you, might, you don't need to have a legitimate interest in them. You do it in the dark in an off-campus party and then you don't have to see them ever again. But with a with like a date, you know that the person is interested in you, knows what you look like in the light, <laughs> and it's really hard to expose yourself like that. I would definitely say there's a lot more hooking up going on and it's kind of rare to see someone dating, but when I do see them, I definitely applaud them. <laughs> That's great. You know, they tell you that life is going to go super fast. Well, it does go fast. And then they tell you college is going to be, like, crazy and, like, you should meet all these people. And you really should because it's hard to meet people when you graduate. I wish dating would be more um, straightforward. I met this guy on Tinder and we've been going out for, I don't know if that's even, like, the proper way to say it, but we've, we've been literally going out. Uh, for like three or four weeks and and so I just like to know things like what they are and so I ask him like so what's the deal <laughs> and he's like well like we're dating but we're not dating dating so I'm like okay I don't know what that means I, I don't know what that means I ask him like you know like what do you want from me and he froze. Anything would have been great. Anything. I wanna get to know you. I don't know, I'm confused. Um, anything. But nothing, it just drives me nuts. I don't feel that a lot of people from my generation know what our end goal is. Like our parents by now, my mom, I already, she already had my brother. And she was pregnant with like my sister. It has been really hard to find a good guy. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know what I do. I don't know. Like I, I don't know why. I'm, why am I single? <laughs> I think it is tough to find a guy in, in general, especially when you're like, oh yeah, my life is kind of crazy busy right now, and this is my schedule, and may not talk to you that often and may not even see you that often but let's date my life right now is my career and church it, it, it's just hard and then also just connecting with a i don't know with a man that sh shares the same values as me kind of feels like a needle in a haystack if a man wants you he is going to pursue you that's sexy. It's just like, okay, you are a man. Like, you are doing it. And I'm like, bring it. <laughs> I love it. I would love to get married. Yes. Hands down, absolutely. Babies and everything. I want to be that soccer mom that's like, that's my baby! That's my baby! Absolutely. When was the last time you went on a date? What do you classify as a date? 
let's go there because I don't know months months yeah it's been months I've had these like random like hey are you around you want to meet me at blah 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 and I'm like and then I happen to be free on that one night and I'm like okay but I don't consider that a date I think a date is like there was some planning and there's some thought put behind it um so yeah one of those couldn't even tell you the last one I've been on my friend because I have no idea the downside to being single for a long time is that I can kind of be more self-interested and get accustomed to just being with myself. I am so used to the amount of choices and the expectation that there's someone better around the corner. I've done online dating. I was so earnest when I first wrote there. I was so sincere. My friend wrote back to me, who was on the same site. She's like, dude, you got to change this. Like, it's got to be funny. You are scaring people. Like, this is you know, a manifesto. <laughs> she's like, I thought you were funny. I'm like, I know, I don't want to be that way. I want to be serious. And she's like, yeah, that ain't, that ain't selling. There's a certain way that you got to be to be in a, dare I say, a competitive market. It's sales. Like I have a storefront. I think I have a storefront. People walk by like, oh my gosh, it's a great store. You know, and I got all the things and all the bells and whistles and people walking in the store. They say, hey, I'll take four of those. I'm like, I'll be right back. And I go in the back and there's no, the, the warehouse, there's no inventory. <laughs> I haven't stocked what I'm selling. I've just done the superficial things. By today's standards, I'm considered a gentleman. By yesteryears, no, you know. So that means standards have been lowered. The art of courtship isn't there anymore. Because there are no rules, I think that everybody's really confused and they don't even understand if they are dating someone, sometimes they're not even aware that one person thinks they're dating and the other person does not. Whereas in the past, you would just say, I'm not gonna go out with you if we're not in a committed relationship. And that was normal. Now if you say that, people think you're being demanding. I come across so many people who they've been dating for five years and I'll say to them, well, are you guys thinking about getting married? And they'll say, I don't know, we haven't really talked about it. And they think, really? In five years you haven't talked about whether you're gonna get married? There's no set of rules for what anything means. When was the last time I went on a date? It's kind of hard to tell. You, have you ever gone on an accident date where it's like, you're not really sure, like one or more of the people is kind of not sure whether or not it's a date. I've gone on a lot of those, but I don't know if that counts. I wish dating was like the old days where you could just go up to someone and strike a conversation, you know, and it wouldn't be weird. There's not that, you know, gentleman and lady kind of feel to dating. What ends up happening is, Hangouts turn into consistent meeting up, and then usually when you involve alcohol, it turns into a hookup. What has the society come to that has made it so difficult for us to connect with someone on an emotional, spiritual level to actually embrace the meaning of love? It isn't that I'm trying to go back to the 1950s and say, oh, there's some great era of dating, but there were good things to be retrieved from that era. Look, it's a script that works like manners work, right? Manners are there to make you feel like you know what you're doing and that you know what to expect. Hookup culture is promising you that when you're a young adult or even into your 20s, this is gonna be the easy, casual thing without having to put in a lot of commitment, time, energy, drama. So I say to students, you're willing to sort of make out with somebody for five hours, take off some of your clothes or all your clothes, do some stuff that's very intimate and that's more casual than just going for a cup of coffee with someone. And once you say that, they kind of say, oh yeah, okay, that doesn't make any sense. They know that it doesn't make any sense. They want the way out, but nobody's really offering it to them.